The drought is changing the landscape and the economy of southern Utah. Only canoes and kayaks can launch from the state line boat ramp on Lake Powell. And some rivers in the area can't sustain normal recreational activities. Fox 13's Max Roth has an in-depth look. The water system for the southwest is nearing a crisis that is most easily seen by taking a trip to southeastern Utah. The San Juan River sustains the Four Corners area, not just providing water, but carving iconic landscapes like the goosenecks and providing paddling opportunities for adventurous tourists. But the San Juan Record newspaper pointed out that on May 11th, the river was running less than 1,000 cubic feet per second, a fraction of its normal 4,500, too dry for family kayak trips. Downstream is Lake Powell, the engine of tourism and even power generation for the region, nearly 40 feet lower year to year. Even at what should be the height of spring runoff, the dam is releasing more water than is coming in from all tributaries. Think of the lake as a giant bank account funding life in the Southwest. Here are the books for the last five years. Every spring, we make deposits to sustain us through the year. Those are the shaded areas. We have bad years. Look to 2018, there's just a tiny blip up. But this year, no blip so far. And forecasters say there won't be one. To see how unusual this is, we graphed every spring, March through June, from 1963 to today, and picked out the 12 worst. So these columns represent the worst springs for runoff into Lake Powell. And on the far right, 2021 so far, a bad year with water levels on the verge of all-time lows. In fact, since its initial filling at the end of the 1960s, these are months with the lowest levels below capacity, January through March of 2005, and then April this year. And the Bureau of Reclamation estimates the lowest level on record as this year ends. Lake Powell has been shrinking for decades. This image from Height today used to be Height Marina, but the webcam doesn't even see the river. The state line boat ramp today, and now you can see the red barricades at the bottom closed. On Monday this week, the lake was at 31% capacity, and as 6,466 cubic feet per second flowed in, 11,130 flowed out. It doesn't take an engineer to know that you pour out more than you pour in, and that ends with a dry container. In studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.